Hey guys, it's Michael. In this video, I'm talking about troubleshooting SQLite databases for Primavera P6. Some of you are having problems with SQLite databases, unable to open them. How do I fix these login problems when the database doesn't uh, show up? Or maybe I get an error like this. Let me have a look. Let me show you a possible error you might be getting. So if I try to log into this database, it says, unable to connect a database please run the database configuration tool or contact your administrator. So if you see an error like that, I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Okay, so number one, I'm on version 19. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out where that database is. P6 knows where that database is or where it should be. So what I'm gonna do is click the databases tab here and you can see a list of all the databases. And this is the one I tried to log into PMDB. Now, if you just hover your mouse over on the right-hand side, it will have a little pop-up and it tells you where that database should be. It should be in C backslash users, MICA documents, and then the name of the database. Now, you might have to write all that down, but I happen to know where it is, so I'm gonna go find that database. So, here we go, documents. So I actually don't see that database here. And that's actually because I renamed it. Um, I see a lot of similar ones, but the actual one that it's looking for doesn't exist because I renamed it. I put a dash MDL on the end of it. So one of the things you might do is just see, is the database there where P6 thinks it should be? If it's not there, you have a couple things you can try. One, is it somewhere else? Can you go digging in your file system or use search to figure out where that file actually is? Number two, if it's not, uh, if it doesn't exist anywhere, then you're into recreating a database. You will have lost that database and all the information with it, but I will show you how you can create a new one from scratch just to get you moving. Maybe this is, will solve your problem. So let me show you how we can create a new database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be on the databases tab here and I'm gonna click add. Okay, and I get this database configuration screen come up. And number one, I wanna give it an alias. Now we use a lot of PMDV, project management database. So let's kind of stick with that nomenclature. This is gonna be PMDB MDL, my initials. And we will create an Microsoft, uh, sorry, P6 Pro standalone SQLite. That's the one you want. Okay, P6 Pro standalone. Great, let's click next. And then do we wanna create a connection to an existing database? So if you, if you did have a database file, you could use that option, but here we're going to create a new standalone database from scratch. We'll create the file. So we'll click next again, choosing that option. And we're gonna put some information in. Again, we like to do admin, admin as the password. So you just have to type the password in twice in the confirm password fields here. And again, you can change your, your uh, currency if you like to your home country's based currency. You have to do that at the time you create the database. You can't ever change it, um, but we'll, Stick with US dollars for sake of simplicity. Okay, we'll click next. And here's where we get to decide where the file is going to be. So you can put this file anywhere in your hard drive. By default, it goes to your documents. And you can also change the name. So I'm going to again change the name a little bit. I'm gonna put MDL. Uh, but you don't even have to call it PPM DB SQLite. You can call it anything you want. As long as you understand the name, okay. And then we have this option to load sample data. And if you wanna have, have a completely empty database with zero information in it, you would uncheck that. But if you like to have some projects, the sample data that comes with P6, give you some projects to play with, then you leave that checked on. Okay, so let's click next. And then it says connection successful. It has created our file and our database for us. So we can go ahead and click finish. And here it is now in my list, PMDB MDL. 
In case you ever need to go through that process again, you can always click this configure button and it'll just take you through uh, the same wizard with the values pre-populated. Okay, so let's go to our login and you can pick it from the drop-down list. So P6MDL, I'm gonna type in your admin. I'll make sure it's correct. Now you always get this pop-up the first time you log into a P6 database, it asks you to set your industry. So it's okay, don't worry, click okay. And then I'll show you how you can set that industry. It just takes a second. Okay, so my brand new database, this is looking good. Let's go set the industry. We'll go to admin, we'll go to admin preferences, and you just go down to the last tab here, industry, and again, my preference, my recommendation is engineering construction to be consistent with most other people who are using P6. Click close and you're done. So that's a little bit about SQLite databases and how to troubleshoot that error and a little bit about trying to find them and reconnecting to them if you're having problems. I hope this video was successful and helpful for you. If you liked it, please make sure you hit the subscribe button We've got tons of new videos coming from Plant Academy Studios. I'm Michael Epp.